So in this lesson, we're going to be going over how to add Nave UI, a Vue 3 UI component library to our Inertia.js application. Um, this is going to allow us to easily add complex components to our application. Um, so this comes equipped with things like buttons, autocompletes, cascaders, selects, calendars, you name it, it pretty much has it. To start off with, let's go ahead and get it installed. And then after we get it installed, we're going to go over how to import our components on demand, meaning that we can essentially just use our components as though they're globally installed without importing them every time that we need to use them. And the components themselves will be automatically resolved based off that usage and registered for us so that we don't need to worry about them. So first and foremost, we'll just want to install Navy UI using NPMI as a dev dependency Navy UI. So let's go ahead and paste that into our terminal here. Okay, and then Nave UI actually works really well with a library of icons called X icons, and it supports a number of different icon libraries as a whole. So Fluent, Ionicons 4, Ionicons 5, Ant D, FA, Material, Tabular, and Carbon icons are all supported. So we can go ahead and get this installed as well, and we can install one particular one of these. So I'm going to install Fluent and be working with that throughout the series, uh, but you install whichever one you would like to use if you would like to use any at all. So for this, let's do npm i at v icons slash and then whatever particular type of icon library you would like to install from that list as i said i will be doing fluent okay all looks good there let's go ahead and boot our server back up by running npm run dev and i always like to test the installation of a ui library out by plopping a button on the page so let's go ahead and try that out so let's import n button from nav ui let's register that as a component and let's go ahead and try to make use of it so n button testing go ahead and save that jump back into our browser refresh since we had to restart our server and voila there is our nice little button and although this is a minimal example navy ui does actually work pretty well with tamlin css the way that navy ui tends to do its styling is scoped css variables so tamlin css doesn't affect it all that much at all so now that we have Navy UI installed and it appears to be working okay, let's go ahead and get our components to where we won't need to import and register them and we can just automatically use them. And then our Webpack configuration itself can take care of the import and registration for us. For this, we're gonna need to install a couple more dependencies. So we're going to want to install as a dev dependency, unplugin view components. And once that's installed, let's dive into our webpack config.js file. And we're going to need to do a couple of imports from that. So scroll up to the top of your file. Const components equals require unplug and view components. And then we'll want to specifically target the webpack portion of this package. And then we're also going to want to import the Nave UI resolver from here as well. So let's do const Nave UI resolver. Require that from the unplug and view components package again. And this time it will import from resolvers. So once we have that in place, we are good to scroll on down. You can really put this anywhere, but I'm going to put it down at the bottom along with our view loader, since this is tied in with view in itself. Okay, so let's do encore.add plugin. And let's provide that the components that we imported there. And this will be provided an object with resolvers. And the resolvers here will be an array of all of the resolvers that we would want to use. In this case, we want to use the Navy UI resolver. And let's just call that as a function. So that should be all that we need to do. Let's go ahead and get this booted back up. So npm run dev. Okay, cool. Looks like it compiled successfully and didn't run into any errors. So let's just double check that. Let's refresh our browser here, make sure everything's still working okay. And then let's jump into that home component, get rid of the end button import, and let's get rid of the component registration as well, but leave the usage within our template. So let's give that a save and voila, you can see the button's still there, no errors and we didn't need to import or register it within our single file component. We could test this out with another component here as well. So let's just do for sanity's sake an, an input, provide this the value of testing and give that a test. So we refresh this and there is our input. It's taking up the full width, but it also has our default value in there as well. So everything seems to be working okay with that. We have our components being automatically imported so that we really don't need to worry about any imports for our Nave components. All right, so now we have Nave UI installed and configured within our application, and we also have all of the Nave UI components being automatically imported as we use them and automatically configured as we use them as well. 